Hey, hey, hey! It's Sarah of My Home, Your Home, Our Home, and today I have a book recommendation list for you um, for teaching kids all about consent, body safety, and inappropriate touch. Even young, young kids like my toddler boys. And this is an extremely important topic, sad as that is. It's something that I think every parent should be informed about and should be teaching their kids about. So keep watching. Hi friend, I'm Sarah of My Home, Your Home, Our Home. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification because I make videos like this every week all about our international multicultural bilingual family life and our homeschool and all the travels and things that we do. So I am going to give you a list of books today that we have found helpful as a family for teaching our boys about body safety, inappropriate touch, just for guarding them physically um, from abuse as we live in other countries and other cultures. That cultural thing adds this whole other layer to um, teaching kids about inappropriate touch and body safety, but all of these books I'm going to share with you today apply within any culture in the world, and so they can be helpful for you no matter where you live. Let's dive right into these books because I'm excited to show them to you. The first thing that we do within our family to um, help educate our kids in this area is to teach them proper names for their body parts all their body parts, including their genitalia. And some books we found helpful for this in talking about the differences between boys and girls have been um, Your Whole Body. Uh, this book is by Lizzie de Young Charbonneau. It is a beautifully inclusive book, so um, it includes children with all kinds of different skin tones and facial features, bodies. It talks about things that, as simple as hair, um, but also gets into eyes, nose, senses. It has a good amount of text, um, which with little kids you might not be reading all of that, but you will be pointing out the different body parts. So this can actually really grow with your child very well as they get older, just adding in different uh, words. And it goes over things like nipples, um, it talks about the butt, and male body parts, which this is nice because um, it does show a circumcised and uncircumcised male kind of within the same picture. Um, so no matter how your child's body is, they can relate to this. Um, and then girls' body parts as well, and it gives the proper names for all of these things. Um, so this is a great resource for educating about that. And this book specifically focuses on the differences between boys and girls' bodies and what is the same and what is different. So if your child or children are really interested in, oh, do you, like, do girls have this? Do boys have that? And this is a great book for that. It's also a great book for just discussing how some parts of our bodies are not appropriate for people to see or touch. We have special parts. It's very not um, intimidating. The illustrations are very playful and lovely. And um, we read this several times with our boys now, and they haven't gotten so much into it yet, but they will get more interested as they get older and can point out different body parts to us. But it, again, it has the girls' body parts and the boys' body parts. Um, and it also talks about how animals have these body parts as well. So you can also talk to your kids about how it's not appropriate to touch animals in those areas if, if that's an issue. And it talks even about what is internally inside of the body. So how women can have babies. It doesn't give all the details of that, but it does talk about how boys are born with testicles, the girls are born with ovaries. That is also a difference between these two books. Um, this one just says pe some people have this body part. It doesn't actually say boys and girls, but this one actually gives the details of this is a boy, this is a girl. So I like these two in combination just because they both have their strengths. After teaching about the body, it's also important to teach about how we shouldn't keep secrets that make people feel uncomfortable. This book is a story of a little boy who has a a male figure in his life who tickles him and he feels very uncomfortable with that and it kind of progresses and it's not very graphic at all but it does very clearly show that he is told he must keep a secret or his mom's going to lose her job and things like that, threats like that. And so just talking to your kids about how there is no secret that they could ever tell you that will make you stop loving them. There's no secret that they should ever keep from you. It's a really powerful book. And this woman actually, this author, uh, Janine Sanders, um, actually has several books about body safety education. And you can find those all, I think, on Amazon and other bookstores. We actually have her another one of her books. This one is just No Means No. And if you have a child who specifically struggles with their voice and just 
finding their voice and saying what they don't like or what should not happen, um, then this is a very good book. Even if your child has a voice, sometimes it can be intimidating to say no about things that we're uncomfortable about. And so this is giving you examples like if someone wants to give you a kiss but you don't want them to, no means no. So people should respect your no. Teaching them you can offer a high five instead about baths, if you want to dry yourself off, if someone wants to tickle you, you can just say let's play something else. Again, it just emphasizes to kids, you can say no and your no should be respected. It, which teaches them if it's not being respected, that's a problem. This is another book about no and it's written by a mom and a son out of her son's experience with um, a bad a sleepover from where another child tried to touch his private parts. And so I think it's really practical in helping us as parents to realize what we should be aware of. Um, it has some really good content about special rules, things you can talk about your over with your kids, and green and red flags. I think that it's important also to note to our kids that there can be red flags even from people that we know and trust, um, uncles, aunts, cousins, siblings, friends. And so just emphasizing that also throughout this book where you know someone might be a trustworthy person but then something happens and you're not comfortable with it, that could be a red flag and you should talk to uh, someone else you trust about it. It tells you like what's appropriate and with whom that's appropriate, how it's not your child's fault if something happens, um, how to deal with inappropriate behavior, bribes, threats, and when and who to go to for help. It also will bring out the feelings of uh, guilt and shame that accompany if your child has ever been touched inappropriately and just how to deal with those. So I think this is a very comprehensive resource. It doesn't go over body parts or anything like that, but it does talk about inappropriate touch. This is from a Christian perspective all about teaching our kids that their bodies are made beautifully and wonderfully. There's no part of them that is shameful. And I think that's important to emphasize as we're discussing with our kids inappropriate touch and body safety because sometimes we can get the idea or give the idea that there are certain parts that are dirty or shameful and that's not at all <laughs> how God made us. Um, so this book is by Justin S. Holcomb and Lindsay A. Holcomb. It's to help children protect their bodies. So it will talk about how God made us. He made all things beautiful and lovely. You can share high fives, handshakes, that kind of thing and it's okay to say no even to someone that you love. It talks about how if someone touches you inappropriately then you might feel confused about that but you can say no to them and it talks about uh, feeling safe and strong and secrets. It's also a very comprehensive book of just from a Christian perspective about how wonderfully our bodies are made. Along with the topic of inappropriate touch and body safety, it's really important to teach our kids about pornography from very young ages. Um, the average exposure to pornography these days, I believe is six years old to nine years old. That's so young and very, very sad. Um, but one of the gateways that abusers actually find to abuse children is to show them pornography sad as that is that we need to teach them about this we do and we can do it in a non-intimidating way i love this book by kristen a jensen it's called good pictures and bad pictures jr and it's just a simple plan to protect young minds as it says in the subtitle um, but it talks about what are good pictures what are bad pictures and what we should do about them so if you see a picture where someone is naked run away from it go tell someone you love um like your mom or your dad and say, I don't want to see that picture. There is a version for older kids. It's called Good Pictures, Bad Pictures. And it has a bit more text in it, uh, so it's going to be a lot more conversation. It's also broken into smaller chapters, whereas the Good Pictures, Bad Pictures Junior has quite a bit bigger text, less words on a page, and it also includes questions like, what does private mean? That are good for extending this conversation. Another thing we find really important for giving our kids a holistic education about inappropriate touch and body safety is to teach them what is appropriate. So we want to give them a good picture of 
sex not being just a thing that's scary or touch not being a thing that's just scary and harmful and painful but it being something that is intended by god as beautiful and lovely and a gift and so we like this series there are four books within this series by carolyn nystrom and it talks about um sexuality from a christian perspective for really little kids to understand the differences between men and women um how babies are made all of that i think um that it kind of progresses as kids get older with how much detail things go into or what is explained um, but we're going to be starting this book with our son when we think it's appropriate and it just discusses babies and how they come into the world how how your child was created um, what men and women are in a very uh, again not intimidating way and I think that it's so important for me as a mom to give my kids this good picture of um, their sexuality as something that is a gift from God because I don't want them to be fearful and just to always think that there's only someone who's going to harm me that that's why did why do I have this on my body because you know I can just get hurt by it um, why is this thing on my body I don't want them to feel dirty um, about that and I don't want them to think that there's anything wrong um, with how our bodies are created by God so um, that's just something else I would add to this whole discussion of body safety and inappropriate touch I also as a mom think that my role as a mom is to teach my kids through practical examples and daily life how we can show affection with our bodies so teaching them to be affectionate with each other in appropriate ways and myself showing appropriate affection to my kids like a back rub um, stroking their hair holding their hand when we're talking to each other or just not being afraid to show physical affection in good ways so that they know what it should be like not used as a manipulative tool not as used as something painful or harmful or to hurt or to take advantage um, but something to show love and care and protection and so those are part of my thoughts also as a mom in the midst of life overseas in the midst of life in the united states in the midst of anywhere that we are just teaching my kids about their bodies and protecting them. So those are all my book recommendations at this point for body safety and inappropriate touch and physical education in this whole area. I have a post about this and navigating all this in another culture. I also made a video about our family and what we take into consideration as we are protecting our kids within other cultures and other countries throughout our travels. Um, if you're interested in watching that, I'm going to leave that in the playlist and video here, and I will see you guys again next time. Thanks for joining me. Love you. Ciao.